one of the key questions for many teams is how much time do we spend on product backlog refinement? How much time do we spend looking out into the future? How much time do we spend on things that are not the things we're working on just now? And while ultimately the answer in the Scrum world is just enough, right, to get the outcomes that you want out of it, you still need to be thinking about how much work are we able to get through sprint on sprint, right? How much work are we able to get through? And do we have enough work refined so that we don't get to the end of that and fall over into a whole bunch of unknowns uh, that, that we could have known, right? There's unknown unknowns. We're not going to know those, but there's unknown could have knowns. Perhaps we do want to know some of those things. So I would probably use uh, probabilistic forecasting for this. I'm going to look at the throughput of work that we've delivered so far in our product and use a Monte Carlo to do a probabilistic look forward into the future. What are we likely to deliver over the next 90 days? Say, how many items are we likely to deliver over the next 90 days? And that might be how far out into my product backlog I'm going to look. There are other things that you need to be able to look out into the future. Uh, one of those things is lead times, right? We talk about cycle times a lot uh, in order to get your, your throughput calculations, but you also need to think about the lead times for information that you need looking out into the future and feed that into your probabilistic forecast as well about how far out into the future you want to look. So for example, um, I used to work for an organization uh, where it took six weeks to get a firewall change. If you're building an application and you need uh, uh, to, to have a firewall change when you're writing that code in order to have it function when you ship it at the end of the week or the end of the two weeks, end of your sprint, or continuous delivery, right, even better, then you need to know to request that firewall change early enough so that it's ready for the time when you need it. Um, so perhaps you need to look at least six weeks out in the product backlog. And how many items is that six weeks? Well, we'd use a probabilistic forecast to figure out how many items we need to look at out into the future. Those are the types of things uh, that I would use to figure out um, how far out in the future I need to look. Probabilistic forecasting is a fantastic tool for that because it doesn't rely on guesswork and estimation it relies on probabilities um, and you're never going to be perfect but all you need to be is good enough mm -hmm.